Hello everybody, my name is Tokreva and welcome back to some more European Rosales 4 playing as Prussia, fighting off the evil armies of France and their allies, quite a few of them. Um, they are out of manpower last time we checked, but beyond that it is, um, yeah, about even in numbers. They have a few more cannons and about 12, 000, well, 11,000 more uh, horses, but we have like Wow, 2,500 more infantry. Yeah, it's not really that much of a uh, fair fight. Austria no longer considers Britain and has announced the Ottomans as their new rival. Military request from Novgorod. Who are you at war with then? I mean, Venice, Modena, and Savoy. Actually, then um, I'm going to decline because that is also a war that France is involved in. Huh. They're still losing that fight, despite that huge um, benefit that they should have there for being in the mountains. Oh, good. Hello, France. Yeah, I'm letting my manpower recover for a while now. Reinforcements is the biggest part of my negative right now. Holy crap, almost 100 ducats in reinforcements. Jesus. That's crazy. Is seriously crazy. Uh -huh. The French are still having issues over there, of course, with the Venetians. Um, Augsburg entered a military alliance. Oh, great. Now we get another revolt. Worst timing ever. Actually, a bigger stack to go there then. Clear them out quickly. Where are you going, Bourgeois? On the 21st of October? We might be able to head them off in Metz then this way. And we do. It's another army that gets destroyed. So, Oh, we only lost 3,000 men in the uh, hazard attack. And that's also not that many lost here. And back to Trier, please. Yes, that was a perfect one. Oh, hello. Actually, I wouldn't mind taking out these French army, this smaller French army with... Uh, they do have their king here, interestingly enough, which is itself a 5-3-4 general. We're coming into a 3-5. But here we have such a numerical advantage that we should be winning, for sure. Oh, okay, that's Baron, that's different. Is Austria also in a war? No, they're not. Yes, there we go. Wow, just had cannons left there at the end. Lothringen, um... We're two days slower, actually, than they are. Highly annoying, of course. Barois. We have 50 military power, so I'm going to raise the war taxes. That's going to be useful. Oh, we saw French armies appearing over here. Champagne. And then you're going to... To Paris, of course. There we go. Another 2,000 destroyed. Yeah, we won't get to kill them because they do generate enough morale in their uh, home territory at the end of the month. Yes, yeah, so let's recall from Mantua. Well, this is an interesting target, to, to say the least. A new leader, 4,000 stack of men. Oh, we did get to uh, clear them out. Um, they're probably running into um, Champagne, actually. So I would like to avoid it. There you go, without losses, actually. Holy crap, that's 92,000. Well, here we have 103,000, but... Uh, let's see, they're medium now. War exhaustion is going, war exhaustion is going up. We have reinforced quite a bit on our side of the coalition, though. I feel like taking out these armies could be helpful, but also won't be that helpful. Be 
because they are also strong. Yeah, military tech is actually ahead of ours in Scandinavia and in Lithuania. And France is the enemy, not so much uh, the others. Sue for peace. They would still not accept this because we don't control. But when we control Württemberg through Liège, that will actually help some strange way. Um, if you actually... Yeah, no, that would actually be perfectly fine to do. They are getting a lot of attrition from just having such a big stack running around. Surrender, 64%. Still won't accept because... Huh, length of war, current peace offer. Yeah, we don't have enough war score on our side. But then again, Liège is not in any of the other wars, so they can just... They have free reign to occupy, which is amazingly helpful. They are just doing the occupations wherever they please, and then... Hello, Spain. Spain also has quite a few forces. We need to come with a clash against the big army of France, with everyone involved. Uh, peace offer? No, thank you. I kind of need the war. Then again, the war score would still be reasonably high. Liège, where are you going? Come on, guys. Um, You're here at war. Objective of Liège, please. Thank you. Oh, and they're actually instantly responding. That's useful. Um, why are you not reinforcing right now? Austria declared war on Switzerland. Cleansing of heresy. Well, that's actually in our favor. Because Austria... Uh, no. Um, Switzerland is reformed and not pro... Holy crap! Look at the pr Protestantism spreading through sp France. On at a ridiculous pace and also through England there's one hang on where are the other two conversions I'm seeing one two from Protestantism because of Siena and Switzerland one here and uh, Protestant no, I mean reformed one Protestant there but where are the other two Protestants and tell me they're in North America and they wouldn't be going that far away um, does it say here somewhere where you are? No. Coptic over here, interestingly enough. Wow, Novgorod is... Wow, Orthodox is almost completely gone. That's also quite surprising. Maybe they just don't have the reach anymore. Okay, Norfolk is being done by who? Prussian. It's one of mine that's doing Norfolk. I have no idea where the other two reform reformers are, of Protestantism at least. Um, they are dropping, we are increasing, of course. The army should be somewhere... I thought I saw an army just here, but I'm not entirely sure anymore. Um, Luxembourg is actually... Oh, no, wait. We need to wait for these guys to pass through before actually moving on. Um, yeah, that's fine. Just have the a little bit slower, smaller army behind as a reinforcing power. 67 right now. Yeah, they did lose a lot of forces here. But we'll just do a slow siege. We'll take some attrition, obviously. But we do have some manpower left over to combat that. Uh -huh. Spanish army over there. If the Spanish get to engage, I really feel inclined to attack as well, though. And again, if we can get any siege going on the French, that would be lovely. That's... Yeah, we don't have a higher siege general than this one, sadly. Milan does have a part of the empire that we would like back. Oh, we're doing reasonably well on technology, except for military, we are falling behind. Seriously, we can no longer claim Nuremberg. That needs to be fixed instantly. Because I still want to form Germany at some point. Minus 28%, 0%. How long are these siege things last? 39 days, that's actually quite fast compared to what... We had to deal with uh, 
in uh, Austria before. Uh, Mamel is now being sieged by a huge Scandinavian stack. Seriously, they're not getting that much attrition. Oh, wait. Huh. Shemitan is over. Decline that one. Hello, here are the French attacking the... Hmm. I feel like I have to reinforce that fight if possible, if I can get there in time. Or at least pick up the pieces from the uh, Spanish attack. Ostreusen. Hmm. Actually, this is not going very well. Let's... Wow, that's a difference. Ermland is under attack. I get that. I'm going to pull you back. Because they did not really make any dent in that army at all. It seems. There you go. 7%. We're working on it. Working on it. Maybe if I go to speed 3, that might change. See, so yeah, I was at 84 stack. It's now 78 stack. So they, they do have a huge army in total. But they're losing some forces finally. These French generals are ridiculous. 6, 4, 3, 4, 3, 6. Mm. Can I piece out of this? Actually, I can. I can see if I can see the defeat. No. Oh, offer tribute, of course. Duh. If I can see the defeat, I would only lose some prestige and we would be out of this war. Um, sure. Right now, that's all I would like to get. You guys can go in there, and you can go back into Trier for now. Just one war left at the very moment. Occupied by Liège, interesting. Lost the trade dispute against Scandinavia. Um, hmm. Lose 10 legitimacy in opinion changes and plus 10% tax modifier for 5 years. I'd be willing to sacrifice 10 legitimacy for that. Yeah, Britain does not like me over this a little bit. Separate piece, yeah that happens I guess. A relationship. Improve relations with them again. Will become a vassal. That's actually perfect. But I would like to see the peace deal for myself. And we are close to... Aw, they were discovered. Bastards. Um, coalition. We do have these guys in a coalition against me. So we have Ulm and Bavaria. We should check who their allies are. Ulm, who are your allies? Platinet and Salzburg. Dealable. And Bavaria has Poland and the Platinet. So, I will do it after I peace out. I will probably make a very, very fast war declaration. Um, we'll probably want to re-go go back to, to either 430,000 armies or 340,000 armies, actually. Mm -hmm. Recall from Portugal then, I guess. Uh, Breda revolts. Well, it is still tripping ours. Dutch patriots yet again. Conceding defeat. No, thank you. Um, I, there's probably not enough. Uh, huh. Oh, still 8%. Difficult to fabricate claims nowadays. I am 
finding out. Uh, oh, we actually don't lose. We just increase our manpower again monthly. Jesus. Just 5,000 lost. Where do we have the highest? Um, 105 in Lubeck is quite nice for our force limits, supply limits. I might as well just try and get mats as well. That's what I'm probably going to go for. Oh, really? You went to a province with attrition? You silly bastard. Yeah, Nassau really has low force limits. Let's actually build a star fort here. Okay, so now we can declare peace. Um, give me also mats. Yeah, that actually works out pretty well. Sending the demand, people will hate me for it. Austria, Bavaria, Lorraine, Venice actually does too. France is only minus 21. Give it a day. You go there, you go core for 190 bloody 7. Actually, we have high war exhaustion. Um, let's reduce that once, make it a tiny bit cheaper to core. 11 admin points. Okay, so, um, if we declare war on Ulm, oh, we have no diplomats today. Vassalize Bohemia, free power. Always useful. If we took Ansbach, Spalatin and Salzburg would join the war. And so would Bavaria, so that would be the Platinate, Ulm, Bavaria and Salzburg. I can live with that, probably. And if I attacked Bavaria, what would happen then? Declare the war for Nuremberg, which should be my main goal. Poland would indeed join the battle, and Poland is a little bit stronger than either of these, so I'm not too keen on doing that. Claim a rival's province, Shailand. Rival of a rival is Poland. Manpower reserve needs to recover. Well, we need to be not at war for that. And we're about to plan another war, so I'm just gonna claim Shailand. So, fabricate a claim on Shailand. Have some fun with that. Um, yeah, Bamberg also has the supply problem. Is it because they're woods? I'm not entirely sure. Um, okay, I actually need to... Oh. Separate all mercenaries, that's a good point. Disband those. Oh, we don't have them in here. Split you in half, send you to Oberfeld. I should declare war before we actually get, um, and we have another leader, before uh, anyone else joins the coalition. So I need to attack Ulm for Ansbach. So we're declaring this war. You're taking the planet instantly because that's going to be against us anyway. Baden? How long did they join the fight? Because they're a vassal of Bavaria. Okay. Uh, military access from Switzerland. I will give it to you. That peace deal doesn't matter anymore. One army down. Oh, on the 25th of January. I definitely need to take Nuremberg in this. Hello there, that's some big army stacks. Um, who are we at war with again? Just, oh, okay, this area here. It's a very contained war, to be honest. Uh, just go to Ansbach for now. Let's see what we are facing in Ulm. 41,000, some people leaving the scene. I mean, they are 20, but it's hills, will cross a river, that will not cross a river.
14th and the 18th, sure thing. Split you, no. Need to split you in half instead. Split you in half. Let's see if we can pull that fight off. We should be able to. I mean, we have insanely high discipline, so... Oh yeah, that's not even a very difficult fight, apparently. Oh, for the love of God, come on, the Dutch. Ah, then I have to send an army that way again. Anyway, I would like to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. I will see you guys later.